Hi, Junior Rangers. I need you to be very quiet. Don't even make a peep. I'm on a hunt. The sun is out and so are the lizards and we're gonna catch one today. So come along with me on today's adventure as we learn about the Western Fence Lizard. If you ever wanna know what makes a tree grow tall, a white turtle wears a shell on its back. To get your hiking It's the Ranger's Act Show. But before we catch them, I need to teach you a couple things about the fence lizard so you know what to look for. This isn't just any old lizard. The Western fence lizard is equipped with unique and some may say superhero-like qualities that help them survive in the wild. Let's start with what they look like. The western fence lizard is covered in spiny and overlapping scales, which look sharp and rough, and they feel like sandpaper. They also have sharp claws, which help them climb trees and shaw fences, of course, and this helps them escape from predators. Now, are you ready to find out their first superpower? Here it is. Fence lizards can change colors depending on how hot or cold it is outside. They usually start their mornings darker, like black or dark brown, and they gradually get lighter as the day warms up. Why do you think they have this superpower? Can you make a hypothesis? Remember, a hypothesis is an educated guess. Lizards are cold-blooded animals, which means they need the sun's heat to give them energy and warm them up. The body temperature of cold-blooded animals gets hotter or colder depending on the temperature outside. Fence lizards turn black to help them absorb more of the sun's heat to get them ready for a long day of running and eating. As the day warms up, they don't need as much sun. Their lighter look helps them absorb just the right amount. Reptiles, fish, and amphibians are all cold-blooded animals, relying on the sun's heat to give them energy. Warm-blooded animals, like mammals, birds, and junior park rangers, keep their body temperature the same no matter what it's like outside, unless they got a fever. Now, to test your skills, let's play a round of warm-blooded or cold-blooded. To start, the frog. What do you think? Warm-blooded or cold-blooded? That's right! Frogs are amphibians, so they're cold-blooded animals. Here's the next one. A turtle. Warm-blooded or cold-blooded? That's right! Turtles are cold-blooded animals. Here's a tricky one. A dolphin. Warm-blooded or cold-blooded? Dolphins aren't fish. They're mammals that live in the ocean. That means they're warm-blooded. All right, Junior Rangers, let's see how well you've been paying attention. Lizards, warm-blooded or cold-blooded? That's right, this is too easy. Lizards are cold-blooded. Here's the next one, an eagle. Warm-blooded or cold-blooded, yeah! That's right, birds are warm-blooded animals. Good job, Junior Rangers. Thanks for playing warm-blooded or cold-blooded! Another superpower that lizards have is the ability to detach their tails. And they'll do this to escape from a predator. But that's not all. They can grow their tail back. But it usually comes back a little shorter with a different scale pattern. 
Do you notice anything a little different about this lizard's tail? Sometimes when a lizard detaches its tail, it could grow back as two or more tails. This happens if the old tail doesn't completely break off or some brain signals get crossed along the way. But that's okay, just remember, it's our differences that make us special. Western fence lizard has a secret, and the only way to know what it is is to look at one from underneath. Flip it over and you'll see why they get the nickname Blue Belly. Fence lizards have super special blood as a superpower as well. When exploring the wild, you may come across ticks, which are blood-sucking insects that can spread diseases that make you sick, like Lyme disease. But when a tick latches onto a fence lizard, like these, its super special blood neutralizes the Lyme disease bacteria. And cases of Lyme are far more rare in areas with a lot of western fence lizards. So the next time you see a blue belly, give him a thumbs up and a thank you. You're my boy, Blue! What was that? Oh, are you ready for your Rangers Act fun yeah. fact? Well, here it is. Lizards can sleep with one eye open and half their brain awake. This allows them to catch some Z's while still keeping an eye out for sneaky predators. Blue bellies have super senses as well. I didn't say spidey sense, they have lizard sense, and it's even better. They have a third eye on the top of their head. Well, sort of. It's a partial eye, and it's covered by a scale, but it helps alert them of predators, whether they're coming from the front, the back, or even up above. This is why they can be so tricky to catch, but not for Ranger Zach. I have the ultimate lizard catching trick that you can try. Here's my Ranger Zach ultimate lizard catching trick. Start off by getting yourself some nice long pieces of wild grass. Take a long piece and strip off all the leaves. Once you're done stripping the leaves away, tie the thin end in a nice little loop. And once you have your loop, slide the back end through it, creating a slip knot. Now all you have to do is find a lizard, sneak up on him, and slide the slip knot over its neck. Wait for it to run or give it a little tug, and you've got him! It doesn't hurt him, but you don't want to leave him dangling too long. Gently release the slip knot and make your observations. Lizard catching trick! Neato!
The last superpower of the Western Fence Lizard is their super push-up power. If you watch Western Fence Lizards for as long as I do, you're gonna see them doing some serious working out. Males do push-ups to try to defend their territory and impress all the lady lizards by showing off their bellies and their sweet muscles. Now I'm here to pump. You are. Hunting lizards can be a whole lot of fun, and it gives you a chance to use your observation up close and personal. But remember, these are wild animals, and they belong outside. So make sure you handle your lizards gently and always release them back into nature when you're done making your observations. Let's head back to the ranger station. Hi, Junior Rangers. I hope that you enjoyed catching and learning about lizards with me today. Catching blue bellies has always been one of my favorite outdoor activities. And learning about these fascinating creatures is one reason that I became a park ranger. So I hope that they've inspired you as much as they've inspired me over the years. And speaking of junior park rangers, let's do the Ranger Roundup. This week's question comes from Abel, who's already getting ready for summer. Hi, Ranger Zach. Why does the ocean have food? Bye. Well, Abel, oceans have corals because they provide the three things that corals need to survive. Crystal clear, warm, tropical, salt water. Large communities of corals create reefs, which provide a home to thousands of plants and animals. So they create a very important ecosystem that needs to be protected. I hope that answers your question. Have fun at the beach this summer. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to use your observation skills on a lizard that you find outside. Pay careful attention to the tail and see if it may be detached it in the past. Tag me in a picture of your observations at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And don't forget, new episodes of the Ranger Zach Show come out every Monday, so make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our exciting adventures. And until next time, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach and Pearl the Squirrel, over and out.